Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Um, yeah, you may have heard uh, things are unfolding rather quickly right now, uh, thanks to uh, our colleague Rob Ross, who raised the question uh, in the COVID committee, and uh, the Pfizer representative uh, yeah, answered in quite a clear way. So we all know now um, that people have been lied to. Uh, it was a gigantic lie, and uh, on this lie, everything that governments, especially in the Western democracies, did uh, to infringe on, on uh, people's rights, to take away their freedom, to uh, lock them uh, in their homes, uh, imposing curfews. All of this was based on that gigantic lie. And um, yeah, I and can only thank my colleagues. Um, we are doing an incredible job in this COVID committee. And uh, we will get to the bottom uh, of things and we will get the answers that the people that you deserve. We will work on that and we will continue to work on that. But, and that is the other message, none of that would have been possible to do if we did not have the massive, enormous support of you, the people. Because you took to the street, you showed your governments that you will not put up with this and you will not stand for this. And for that, I really thank you and I applaud you and I will do so right now. This applause was for you, the people, because we can only do so much if we do not have the support of you, the people. And as you may have heard, Ursula von der Leyen, uh, EU Commission President, is now under a lot of pressure, and rightly so. The people have a right to know what went on in these contracts with her exchange of SMS with C. Pfizer uh, Bourla. The people need to know who they can hold responsible and accountable for whatever may have gone on behind the scenes. So um, yes, thank you again. It was your support that kept us going and that made all of this possible. And things are changing now. Their house of cards is tumbling down and it is doing so rightfully. And you know what? One more thing, though. Um, I am sick and tired of being called a COVID-idiot. <laughs> and I'd much rather be a COVID-idiot than being a gov-idiot. <laughs> because that's what all these people blindly trust. <laughs> Because that's what all these people that blindly trusted their governments turned out to be. And I will say it again, it was never, never ever about public health. It was never about breaking any waves. It was always about breaking people. But, and that's the good news, they failed. It didn't work. And that I am very proud of, and I'm proud of the people that I am so honored to be allowed to represent. And I will continue to do just that. Thank you very much. God bless you all.
But really what it comes down to is we got to stop liars from continuing their lies. When you see a lie, it's got to be called out. People got to get loud, really loud. So I guess the question I'll pose to you guys is how do we make lies completely unacceptable anywhere? Now, I want to say in this society, but anywhere, worldwide. Like a declaration for people of all races, ages, genders, whatever, that we will not fucking accept the lies. How do we do that? And how do we make it so when someone does lie, it's too obvious for anyone to believe it? You know, this video's never just gonna fix everything. We, we just gotta keep inching forward. That's all it is. It's like that, that wind-up toy that you crank and then you put it down and it takes those little tiny steps but it slowly walks forward. And we're just gonna keep taking those little steps forward. That's, that's, all, I know, that's all I know to say for sure. I don't think anybody has to do anything in particular except refuse to accept lies. That's the only thing we all need to do is refuse to accept lies. We gotta do something. We tripped the alarm. What do you think I am, stupid? Yes. Well, how are we gonna get up, huh? Like Mario's. The whole world gone crazy! Am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the rules? Nice try. Nice fucking try.